the hell are you? Griff! Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about this video, this picture, rather, right here. Um, as some of you may know, I do a lot of 3D modelling and animation, or I try to anyway. I'm shit at it, but... Uh, yeah, I like red versus blue, and I like pissing around in Blender, so that's what I spend a lot of my time doing. Either way, I thought... I've got the Halo 5 assets now, which is nice. Um, why not try and make Shark Face in Halo 5? Now, as you can see this image here, this is my kind of final version of it. It looks pretty decent, but I just wanted to make this video to kind of share some things that people might not know about the character and about the model that I find, found out while I was making it. So, basically I'm just going to give you a little tour about this image, I might do an animation with it one day, but you know, who knows. Um, I've yet to finish any animations because I'm so lazy. I get about 90% through and then give up. So, yeah, so they're basically, I just want to talk about some different things. Now, what, what may be known is that, you know, Shark Face's jetpack, or his backpack rather, is the bottom half of it. If you've played Halo or played Halo Reach or whatever, you'll recognise this kind of bottom half of it as the Halo jetpack, you know, the Halo Reach jetpack. Um, well, I'll, I'll open up the specific file in a minute, but when I was looking at it, you know, in the show, you can kind of see these little parts in the reverse shot, but I was always wondering what was this element, you know, because in Halo, they never really have flame troopers in the actual games. And you'll see that you know this sort of thing here so they have they in the in the law but they never really did it so when I was making this guy I was like well how have they how is Monty oh this is a season 9 how did Monty make this because it's clearly it's halo textures you know um but it's got like this part on it and stuff and I was like All right, well how did you get that I th initially I thought it was like a hornet um like thruster you know from the plane kind of so that's what I was trying initially but what I realized is that it's actually if I can go into this version oh there's a tiny old version there we are what it actually is is these thrusters here so it's these parts are oh, not fucking remove doubles damn it yeah so it's this just on its side let me select it there. on its side kind of with and kind of just like scaled down I mean, I'm speaking kind of fast because I don't want to bore you because it's kind of a pointless video really but I just when I was making it I kind of I just found it interesting that that, that the whole thing is a jetpack basically not just you know this part or the bottom part the whole thing is this the, this jetpack so these parts off the side are taken this bottom part is kind of squashed up a little bit and these um side parts and let's go material these side parts here are actually on the top around here now the kind of shoulder blade pieces are mirrored and gone backwards you can see kind of over the top let's get rid of this bit there yeah so it they're kind of they kind of go backwards that part goes there and it kind of those parts are pulled forward a little bit um and this is kind of scaled up and these circles are copied over but it was just weird because it, it never dawned on me that you know where how do they make this and it's only once i actually bought the thing into blender and realized that Hang on, this is just this all made from the jetpack. And I mean, it's quite creative, really, because I never really even considered that it was all from the jetpack. Um, I think I made this, I think I scaled this in as well. Like that. And then made it really big. I mean, that's kind of the gist of it. The whole thing is kind of on an angle as well. It doesn't sit straight. Uh, like, if I go to it, yeah, see. But then... 
but the way it's made, it really does look like it's like an actual Halo asset, as opposed to, you know, being like a Frankenstein job of a jetpack. You know, you never really notice it when it's in the actual thing. I mean, aside from the bottom parts. Um, but then, what was even more interesting is that when I went to make Sharkface's jetpack, or not jetpack, sorry, flamethrower, the flamethrower is not even the Halo flamethrower, you know? I mean, we, we, we see the shark face on the front of it, but I didn't realise that compared to a regular flamethrower, it's not entirely the same. This jet on the front is once again the infamous uh, jetpack jet. This side does have the white, that's not a white ring by the way, it's the, the kind of lights, but yeah, so it has that on the front of it, and then that same kind of jetpack cover, you know, on the flap of it kind of has that underneath. So when you go into oh no let's not convert. God damn it. When we go into the kind of flamethrower, obviously the real one doesn't even have a pipe down here, I had to make all this. But this is like there's a big chassis part of it. Yeah see? So the whole kind of body is moved down. Well, whatever, but it's like this whole chassis part as well is just completely like removed. So you go into it and you see how kind of different it is when you don't really notice it in the show. And it was just interesting when I was making it to figure these sorts of things out because they're just little details. Like, there's no reason why the flamethrower, like, if he didn't have the you know, the Hellbringer model because there's nobody to get it, the only reason, the only one that I thought could possibly be is from like Halo Wars. And if you've seen the the models in Halo Wars, you know that they're, you know, the, these are an RTS game, so they're super low poly count. So I was like, there's no way it's that. It must be some botched job of like other things. Um, yeah, and I came to that realization. But there was no reason for the flamethrower to be custom. You know, he could have just stuck a pipe into the back of it and used the original one. But I think it undoubtedly looks better than it does. Um, than it would do if he just used the regular one. You know, when that, that flamethrower fires out of this, like, heated barrel, you know, when it's like that, or kind of, like, white-hot kind of deal. It just it looks so good in the show. Um, but, yeah, that's about it. I mean, I've kind of talked a lot about that sort of thing. That was the main point in this video. I mean, I don't know how much people care about other sorts of things. Most of the other stuff on this character is pretty self-explanatory. You know, these shoulder pieces are from Halo Reach, as opposed to, I mean, in the show there would have been Halo 3 assets and Halo 3 DST assets, but, and the, so the jetpack is reached, shoulder plates are reached. These things here are actually from Halo 3 DST, they're on Mickey's shoulder. I think, I think he only has one of them, but yeah, I think just the creativity to, you know, reuse them as kind of as gauntlets almost, or like, you know, lower arm armour is pretty nice. But that's about it, really. You know, kind of a pointless video. I, I thought it was interesting, and I mean, I've rushed through it because I don't have faith that other people will find it find it as interesting as I did. But I hope you did enjoy it. Um, if you want to find this image and sort of other images like it, I've been doing all the sort of other freelancers as well. I mean, where are they? Yeah, I've kind of, they're recovery agents, Georgia, fan art ones, whatever, you know. I've been just kind of making pictures. You can follow me on DeviantArt if you want to see those sorts of things. Um, but other than that, I hope you have enjoyed. Try to rush through it. Subscribe. Um, I do have an animation, like I say, I mean, I did tease one in an update video a while back. The one that I'm talking about now is a different one because... I still didn't finish that one, I got bored and I started a new one. And now I've got two that are nearly finished and I'm too lazy to start, you know. Spider-Man PS4 drew me away from it, so I need to actually finish it now that I've finished that. But other than that, <laughs> I'm rambling now. Hope you have enjoyed. I've been Eve Prof, Eprof, if I can say my name, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.